Hello boys and girls. Well, it looks like we're going back to remote learning, and it's only going to be for a week so far as we know. Hopefully everything is okay, hopefully we can get back to school. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and do a new project, and hopefully it'll only take us two class periods to do. Now, this project is an oldie but a goodie. That means I've done it before, uh, some of you have seen this before, but it's a good project to do for a two-day project, and it always is challenging. It doesn't matter whether you're a second grader, third grader, fourth grader, or fifth grader. We're going to be worried about making a winterscape. Winterscape just means we're making a drawing of a winter scene. Now, to start with, we're going to do houses. Now, how do you make a house? Everybody should know that a house always starts with either a rectangle or a square, and then a triangle. I try to make the triangle bigger than the rectangle. Now, this is a shape house. That means I can see the front of it. I can only see length and width. I can't see the side, and I want to be able to see the side. So I'm going to draw three lines going to the side, and they all have to be parallel. That means they all go in the same direction. So at the bottom, straight line going this way. At the top, straight line going that way. And in the middle, where the roof is, another line going this way. These three lines are exactly the same. Now I'm going to show the back of the house. Now I can't see the back of the house, but I can see the edge. And the, ed the, the back of the house has to look exactly like the front. So this line goes straight up and down. So the back of the house has to go straight up and down. The roof is slanted. So the back of the roof has to be slanted. These two lines have to be exactly the same. Now that I have this, I can start putting detail all over my house. Things like doors, things like windows, things like more windows, uh, pretty much whatever I want to add, a little roof. Now this is going to be a winterscape, so if you want to have snow all over the place, I would try to show snow by using blue and putting some icicles or some snow up on the roof. Why blue? Well, because snow is white, and to outline white, you can use black, but blue is a much better color because it makes the snow actually look cold. So there's my little house right there. Now you can make your houses much taller than this. You can make them however you want to. But the important thing is I want you to make sure that you're drawing your three lines going off to the side and that you're closing the back of the house exactly like you have the front of the house. It doesn't matter to me if you have lots of stories several little levels here, little circle up here. However you want to do this is fine with me, but I want you to get into the practice of drawing the front and the side. And you can see they'll get pretty neat right here. So right now, take a couple of minutes and try making several houses. Okay, so now the other thing that we need to worry about are trees. Now, for trees, there's two ways you can do trees. Obviously, during this time of the year, a lot of people are thinking about pine trees. And pine trees are very simple shape. To make a pine tree, all you need is just a triangle. And at the very bottom, of course, you're going to have a little trunk down there. Now, this is a pretty good little Christmas tree or a little pine tree, but it doesn't look very realistic. It doesn't have any texture to it. And I don't know why, but I get a lot of kids that try to color it in or try to do this nonsense right here, try to make these weird sides over here. Really, the best way to do a pine tree is to just remember that a pine tree in real life has needles. It's made of bunches of little points, thousands of them. So I'm just going to make little lines like this, a little pattern. Of scratchy lines there then I'm gonna make another row another level of little scratchy lines then I'm gonna make another level of scratchy lines some kids like to do zigzags if that's what floats your boat if that helps you then fine just make some little ziggy zags but you're gonna draw levels of little lines and that right there already looks more realistic than what I was trying to do before this looks like a scratchy pine tree doesn't matter if it's big doesn't matter if it's small I just start off with a regular old triangle and then I start making layers of needles, layers of needles, and that tends to make a pretty good looking pine tree. Now, not all trees are pine trees, and a lot of trees lose their leaves during the winter. So if you want to draw one of those, then just remember how to make a regular tree. You're going to remember that a tree has a trunk, a very thick line. It's going to have some daddy branches, which are the big long ones. It's going to have some mommy branches, which are the medium sized ones. And then it's going to have some baby branches, which are the itty bitty wee ones. And that's it. Now I've got a tree that doesn't have any leaves. And I can make that as small as I want to. I can make it as big as I want to. I can even make them, you know, very odd looking shapes up here. But that's how I do some trees. So right now, go ahead and try and make a couple of trees. 
Okay, and so now you've gotten this far. Now we're going to try the challenging part. The challenging part is perspective. How to show some things are near and some things are far. The easiest way to start is to come here down to the bottom of the paper. Anything that's near to me is always going to be at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and take blue just because it's going to be in snow. And down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a little hill. Now on that hill is where I'm going to draw my very first house. Anything near to me is at the bottom, and it's also big. So this house is going to have to be fairly big sized. So here we go. I'm going to let it go off to the side, side. I don't have to draw this line. This is up and down, this is up and down, this is diagonal, that is diagonal. And I can go ahead and put little details. I'm not going to put too many because i got to go kind of quick. I know this video is getting kind of long. And there we go. Right next to it, I think I'll do a tree. It can be either kind, a pine tree or a leafless tree. I think over here I'll do a big old pine tree right there. And I'll come in here and do this as quick as I can. Nice and scratchy. Uh-huh. And there we go. Now, after I finish one house, one tree on one hill, way back up here at the top, I'm going to draw another little hill, another line. Now, it can be way up here where it doesn't touch anything, or it can actually go behind everything. It depends on how hard you want to make this. It's much easier if you put the line up here and it doesn't touch. So it's either not touching this or it's going behind it. I put it way up here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. Another house, another tree. I'm just going to make them a little higher up. So I think up here, here's another little house right here. Go to the side, side, up and down, diagonal. And then right here, I think I'm going to make another tree. And just for simplicity's sake, let's just go ahead and do the triangle tree. And you can see this house is smaller. Because as things get further away, they get smaller. And so now this is a very good example of near, far, form, texture. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Now this is a very simple drawing. Obviously yours can be a lot more complicated. You can put more houses than this. You can put more trees than this. You can even color this thing in if you want to. And you can see I outlined everything that's snow in blue. And I try to keep everything as white as I can because snow is white. So this is my example. Let's see what yours, what you can come up with at home.